Hello kids! Hello kids! Welcome to Lesson Translation episode 7. And we are going to be talking about crazy. So crazy, crazy. Crazy is from our first album, World Rage. It was created. Do you remember the year? I think it was 2017. 2017. Yeah, it was a while. So we're gonna try to remember as much as we can. Uh, let's see what I remember. Two thousand years later. It was created in a gem. Yeah, I think so. Do you remember the studio name? Survival Studios. Survival Studios. Did it survive? <coughs> Said you not. But it was amazing actually. That studio was awesome, no? I remember yeah, being... Yeah, it was filthy. It was filthy. Old. But it had such an amazing backline. I remember like the bass gear and everything was so amazing and all available. They had mirrors. We still have good memories. Yes, exactly. Lots of good memories. Well, in one of those jams, Akush was our uh, guitarist at the time. And he presented us the, the riff, wasn't it? The initial riff for Crazy. And the rest is history. Crazy was the first song that I played with Cowbell. And since then, Cowbell has never left the drum set. No, it's always there. See? Cowbell all the way. More Cowbell. <laughs> anyway, uh, lyric-wise, again, I don't I don't recall like much about... Uh, I don't know, thinking too much about it, you know, going, I really don't remember. But I, what I do remember is... You wanted to tell people that you were crazy. I wanted to tell people that I was crazy. No, actually, I wanted to talk about People who consider other people crazy, including myself, just because you want to do something different than the norm, just because age-wise you decided not to go through a, a guaranteed path or the expected path, you know, and then it's just like, oh, the person is crazy, he's doing this, this, this. And anyway, and we decided to include this song in the new album. Why is that? Hey! Also, new album. Many, many people and some friends, they told us that they really like Crazy, it's one of their favorites, all-time famous. One of the reasons we wanted to do it again is because we still play that track even though now we're a duo. Mm -hmm. So as a duo, we had to adapt the song because we had, you know, the previous version, we had guitar solos, we had, you know, lots of guitar work everywhere. And we also felt like I wasn't a big fan of the original recording. True I mean, that, yeah. Because at the time, I, I mean, I think now we can play better than we used to in, mm -hmm. you know, three years ago. Uh, I didn't like the recording, the overall sound of it. It's not that we don't like this song how it was in the past, it's just the recording. The recording was not Yeah, there. the performance during the recording yeah. wasn't amazing. And the general sound wasn't amazing. Mm -hmm. This is why it's good sometimes to have time to record. Because sometimes we, we rush it too much and then it doesn't give space for um, more original ideas to come through. You kind of you get stuck mm -hmm. to what you, you, you went what you went to the studio to record and for crazy we had the time and i remember then the producer uh coming up with some crazy ideas oh, i keep hearing in this part that you now decided to stop some vocals you know kind of if you hear the song now you're gonna know what i'm talking about mm -hmm. and we were like fuck we never thought about that and we gave it a go when we were doing the recordings and the vocals and it was sweet it was really good it was really fun and it gave a different flavor first of all it sounds great yeah and it has these new things that we know we had a lot Lots of fun recording it. Exactly. So, let's say, if you have the previous album, Road Rage you have Tropical Fuzz, have a listen to both versions, and let us know in the comments what you think. Not that they're gonna change. <laughs> no. I guess that's it. That's it. That's it. That's all I have to say and tell you about Crazy. We should tell them that Push Me is out already yeah. on the interwebs. Yeah. So you can search for Push Me, Tara Who, featuring your mom. And at the end of this month, January 2022, uh, the music video that we shot with them in LA is, is coming out. It was really, really fun. Thanks again, Tarahu, for having us. Okay, so now we're going back to being normal. So we're gonna go back to And next week, we're gonna be talking about. Je ne sais pas. So, I'll see you in episode 8. Take care.